been a minute since uh, last video. The uh, this is the Colton pool with the glasses where you can see through by the pool. We uh, had the original cheap pump come with it. That thing blew out blades and just quit working pumping. Luckily, my dad had some friends that had the old real 30 foot pools and had all the pumps from it so we got rid of all that old junky crap and now I got a giant sand filter super quiet you can hear me talking the other pump was so loud you couldn't hardly talk outside uh, it's got like a free strainer here which got the sand filter here all your settings so water would really be I saw the water clear up like almost within three hours it was I thought it was clean so I ran this thing and it the water looked kind of hazy, and then it just cleared up to where you can see the bottom, which you can see now. I mean, that's the bottom of my pool. We don't have anything here but two tablets and a floating strainer, and I throw a little pH up and uh, alkaline up in there, and I do the little test, uh, but have really barely had to do that. Had it for a couple of weeks. Um, we got the strainer on here, and then I'll show you some little tricks over here. That's the uh, the outlet. You got a little tab on there that I screwed on there to create a directional because I haven't figured out a directional cover yet that'll fit this. Um, but that works for now to get my pool circulating rotates. Um, but just now, FedEx dropped off this Intex skimmer because I've been dealing with a skimming issue. I had the lower water clean, but the top was just nasty with hair. And every time somebody swim, just film on top, gross sunscreen, everything else. And uh, I get in here with a manual net skimmer. It would clean it, but it's like never ending. So I'm like, the heck with that crap. Go ahead and spend the money. So I advise anybody don't even play around. Go ahead and get that one of those skimmers like this one here. So this is the Intex one. It's not made for these pools. Um, I, I've seen some people had to modify stuff, but this bracket actually worked on mine. Um, I put it on the in between. I think I've seen people try to do it here or something. But uh, I just tilted it down, twisted these. Got a lot of pressure on it, and it stayed put. And hooked it into one of the inlets. Comes with a little adapter. You just pop the hose on it, no clamp. Same thing on the bottom. Just a big old bucket with a little floating thing inside. And there's a strainer inside there. But as soon as I turned my pump on, it uh, the water started going in there correctly. You can watch some of the trash and catch it going in there. Okay, let's follow this bee right here you got in here. I try to save some of these things, but sometimes they're hard-headed and they come back and they drown. Let's see if this one goes in. Just circling around. Oh, we got by. It's coming back. You don't make it. Nope. Went on by. Well, as the uh, circulation continues, he'll eventually get pushed out to the edge. This one. Suck right in there. Debris. Can't see all the little fine film that's on here though. It's just nastiness. I can't stand when I get in here. Um, got some other trash out here just floating around the center. Eventually though, it'll push. I can adjust my directional flow over there. Um, the water temperature is about 85, 86 now. North Carolina, of course. But this makes me feel a lot more comfortable swimming in here because I just, when you're young and a kid, I guess, you get pulled, you don't pay attention to this crap, but the older I am now, all I see is nastiness. I about wanting to get a hot tub, just think about all people's skin cells and everything else and that crap, it's gross. So this definitely helps keep it clean. So we'll, uh, there's a bunch of leaves way down in there. There you go. See pretty good, but it's got a good suction on it. I didn't even have to plug up that, uh, it comes with a little plug. You can plug that up and it reduces the pressure on that side. And it'll make it suck more here. I guess if you have the original pump, which is what I would have done, but the other one didn't even last a couple of weeks and it burned up basically. And uh, so we put that old sand filter on there. I've been super happy with that thing. That's like the best investment. I know they, Intex, I believe, makes one. Some people have it. This is one of the ones that goes with like a big giant. Uh, metal frame 30 foot pools. Uh, my father and I have one in for probably 10 or plus years, and 
beginning of this year, he was getting ready to build a deck, and the sides had rusted out on the inside between the liner and the metal because they don't make it out of aluminum and steel. And the rush just slowly ate through enough that the seams busted open, they come out, and the whole pool had flooded the yard. So it was pretty crazy. But now they're getting an in ground pool. But with the coronavirus, everything's been delayed till like June. Uh, they've cut back like the people who make the pools, they like make them like fresh or something, apparently. The fiberglass in uh, pools. Yep, he keeps making it by. But they'll get that put in, start putting it in in June, and, uh, and we'll go there and hang out some. But with our kids out of school during the coronavirus, we had to have something to do. So they've been swimming for a month now, I guess. Um, it's been a long summer already. It's just now June 1st. But that's it for now. I'd advise to get one of these and save yourself all the headaches and trouble just get in the water and swim. It's a big pump. You clean the lower parts. Get this. Oh, and the, uh, the other thing we got going on that I purchased. And these shaker vacuums. Just hook all those pipes together. Hook that to the same inlet that skimmer's hooked to. And uh, that thing has kind of a off and on suction thing. Just works by vacuum from the water pressure, no electricity or anything, and it'll just scoot around on the bottom of the pool. Suck everything up. You gotta work it a little bit in little 18 foot pools like this, uh, cause it'll get tangled up around itself sometimes or get hung up over there at the ladder. But for the most part, it'll go around in circles and you'll get much stuff. And you take the, I'll take the old skimmer stick and we'll kinda pull the hose a little bit and make it go over if I see something, but it's still easier than getting in with this little crap right here to work off the water hose. I was originally doing. Once I got that thing now, it just rock and rolls in there. I'll try to do a video later, show how it works, but it will work with a Coleman pool as long as you got one of these pumps. That's it.